Welcome to Daily Faith, where we explore the urgent and timely prophecies unfolding in today's world. Now more than ever, it's essential to have a biblical worldview. Prophetic events are happening across the globe, and many are unaware. Let's dive into seven significant Bible prophecies that are unfolding right now, pointing to the end times. 1. The Spirit of the Antichrist The first sign of the end times we see today is the growing influence of the Spirit of the Antichrist. This dark force opposes all that is good, godly, and holy. Across the world, evidence of this spirit is growing. In China, for instance, a 2022 report revealed that the government has begun to rewrite the Bible, even calling Jesus a sinner. More shockingly, in April 2021, authorities in Inner Mongolia arrested 10 Christians for distributing Bibles, sentencing one man to five years in prison. But the attacks on Christian values aren't just happening overseas. In the U.S., Louisiana passed a law in 2023 mandating that public schools display the Ten Commandments in classrooms. However, this law has been met with fierce opposition, with lawsuits claiming it's unconstitutional. Even the Church of England in the UK has faced pressure, with modern efforts to drop the word church to become more inclusive. Young adults in the UK are also increasingly open to banning the Bible, seeing it as hate speech. The entertainment industry plays a role too, with popular musicians like Eminem glorifying evil and satanic imagery in their lyrics. The Bible warns us in 1 John 4, 3, saying, Every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard was coming and is now already in the world. The spirit of the Antichrist is active and its presence is growing stronger as people turn away from the faith and false prophets rise, leading many astray. 2. The Groundwork for a One World Leader The second prophecy unfolding is the foundation being laid for a one world leader, often referred to as the Antichrist. Governments and corporations around the world are advancing digital ID systems, laying the groundwork for a global economy that could be controlled by one man. The U.S. Department of Homeland Security has even begun developing digital identity credentials, and Australia recently passed a law establishing a nationwide digital ID system. In Sweden, some people are already inserting microchips into their hands, and the Bible warns that the Antichrist will control the economy, forcing people to take a mark to buy or sell. The groundwork for a global leader is undeniably being laid, with technology accelerating this process. 3. Hearts Growing Cold The third prophecy to be aware of is the growing coldness of people's hearts. In 2 Timothy 3, we read about the moral collapse that will happen in the last days. People will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, without love, unforgiving, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not lovers of the good, treacherous, rash, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. We see this happening today as society increasingly rejects God and embraces sin. The breakdown of moral absolutes and the rise of selfishness and violence are clear signs of a world that has turned its back on God. Even within religious circles, people may appear godly but deny the true power of God, falling into a form of superficial faith that lacks real repentance. 4. Wars and Rumors of Wars 
The fourth prophecy concerns the growing instability in the world. Jesus warned in Matthew 24, 6 to 7, that you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. Nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. In our news today, stories about conflicts and the potential for new wars seem never ending. We see this happening right now with tensions between nations rising. But as believers, we don't have to fear. Luke 21, 28 tells us, when these things begin to take place, stand up and lift up your heads because your redemption is drawing near. God's plan is unfolding. And while the world may be in chaos, we can have peace, knowing our salvation is secure. Get ready for a shocking revelation. The next three prophecies are incredible and will leave you speechless. We're going to share them with you. But first, we have something very important to say to you. If you want to be a member of our ministry and help us spread God's message, click on the blue Join button to become a member of this channel. Your support will make a difference in the lives of millions by contributing, you'll help us create more videos that spread God's message and bless countless people. Join our ministry today. God bless you. 5. The Rise of Technology The fifth prophecy concerns the incredible growth of technology, which is changing our world in ways we could never have imagined. Mark Zuckerberg has predicted that in the near future, holograms and AI will be as commonplace as physical objects. We are moving toward a time when virtual realities and artificial intelligence will blur the lines between the real and the digital. While some advancements in technology can be used for good, such as spreading the gospel or creating faith-based entertainment, there is also danger. AI could easily be used to create a lukewarm gospel, a message that pleases people but lacks the true power and conviction of God's word. As believers, we must be careful not to be deceived by these technological advances and always keep our focus on the truth of the Bible. Six, the increase of natural disasters. The sixth prophecy is the rise of natural disasters worldwide, which the Bible foretold as a sign of the end times. Matthew 24, 7 states, there will be famines and earthquakes in various places. Today, we see these disasters happening at an unprecedented scale. Earthquakes, floods, wildfires, and hurricanes are becoming more frequent and destructive. Some experts attribute this to climate change, but the Bible warns us that these disasters are also a part of God's prophetic timeline, signaling the coming end. Natural disasters are not just random events, they are signs of a groaning creation, awaiting the final redemption. Romans 8.22 reminds us, For we know that the whole creation has been groaning, as in the pains of childbirth, right up to the present time. As these disasters increase, they remind us that the return of Jesus is near and the earth is preparing for the ultimate restoration. 7. Global Deception and False Prophets The final prophecy is the rise of global deception and false prophets, a key sign of the end times. Matthew 24, 11 says, Many false prophets will appear and deceive many people. Today, we are seeing an increase in spiritual deception. False teachings and false prophets are leading millions astray, preaching gospels that are more about self-help and success than the need for repentance and submission to God. Social media and online platforms have made it easier for these false prophets to gain a following, spreading misleading doctrines that do not align with the Bible. People are being drawn to messages that promise prosperity without the need for sacrifice or spiritual growth. This aligns with what Paul warned in 2 Timothy 4, 3 to 4. For the time will come when people will not put up with sound doctrine. Instead, 
to suit their own desires, they will gather around them a great number of teachers to say what their itching ears want to hear. As we witness these seven signs, we must stay grounded in the Word of God. The Bible tells us what is coming and prepares us for the days ahead. No matter what happens, God has promised to protect and guide His people. He is our refuge and strength in times of trouble. We can take comfort in knowing that while the world may seem to be spinning out of control, God's plan is unfolding exactly as He said it would. Stay vigilant, stay in prayer, and most importantly, keep your eyes on Jesus Christ. The end times are here, but so is our hope in His soon return.